This video will explain how to create data-driven tests with TestComplete. Now, data-driven testing means running an automated test with a different set of input data than the one you recorded with. This way, you ensure that your application works properly with many different values rather than with just one single set of values. And these data for the tests are usually stored in external files like Excel sheets, databases, or CSV files. And TestComplete lets you retrieve data from any one of those file types. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a data-driven test for this sample orders application. One of the features this application has is you can come up here to this orders menu and create a new order. And what we're going to do is read information in from an Excel file to create a bunch of new orders. Okay, now I've already got an Excel file here. And you can see this Excel file has a bunch of different columns going across the top. City, street, uh, the zip code, the username, the price of the product that we want to buy. And those columns correspond directly to the fields inside my orders application. So we're going to read the data from the spreadsheet and enter it into the appropriate field on the screen. Okay, so our first step in doing that is we need to actually record a test with test complete. So I'm going to bring test complete up. Here it is. And the first thing we're going to do is click this record a new test button. Test complete pops up this create a new project dialog. We're going to call this the orders data project. And I'll click create. Okay, so now test complete is going to minimize down to this really small recording toolbar. And let's go ahead and create that test. So the first thing I'm going to do is launch my orders application. There it is. And now what I'm going to do is come up here to orders, new order. And let's create our order. Let's say that we want to order the family album product. We want 20 of those. We'll put in our customer name, John Smith. And we'll give him a street. And we'll give him a city. And a state. And a zip. We'll say he paid with a MasterCard put in his card number and we'll click OK. All right, And then the last thing we're going to do here is we're just going to close the application down. And we won't save any changes here. And we'll stop recording. OK, so now test complete is going to take a moment and turn all those commands that we just recorded into a keyword test. OK, here's our test. And as you can see, we've got some hard-coded values that are being entered in our test. We've got John Smith, and John Smith always lives at 123 My Street in New Hampshire. And we want to be able to now data drive that test so that we're reading the information in from the Excel file. So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to come up here into my test, and you can see our first item here is to create a new order. That's the first piece that we want to include in the data-driven test. We're always going to make a new order and then we're going to enter in our user information. I'm just holding down the shift key while I select all the actions that I want to perform. So in this case we're starting out um, we've selected the orders new order menu item. We enter in data for our users order here on these steps, the city, the state, the product, etc. And then we click OK. And that's the last action clicking OK, that's the last action that I want to uh, put in my data loop. So what I'm going to do here is right click on all these selected actions and I'm going to say make data loop. And this brings up this wizard. And the first thing in the wizard asks you is, hey, okay, we're going to you know, read information in from an Excel file. Um, how do you want to refer to this data? So I'm going to call this order data. and then we click next. Now you get to pick the data source type. So in our case here we want to say an Excel sheet. And click next. Now you want to browse out to where your Excel file lives. So I'm going to click the ellipses button here and my Excel file lives in this test data folder. It's called test book. I'll click open. Okay so there's my my data file and I'll click next. Now, you may have multiple worksheets inside the Excel workbook, 
And so what Test Complete is showing right now is a list of all the worksheets that live inside that workbook. In my case, I only have this one called Test Sheet. So I'm going to select that and click Next. This next screen lets you pick uh, how many record or which records you want to work with within that spreadsheet. So you could start from a specific record and work up to another specific record, or you can take the defaults here uh, and just use all the records that live inside the spreadsheet. So I'm going to take the defaults and click next. Okay, this last screen is where we determine uh, which values are going to be replaced with values from the spreadsheet. So you look here the first line item is the main menu click. We're not going to change that. That's going to stay exactly as it is. Then we're going to come down here to the product name item. And you can see here that's a hard-coded value of family album. We want to change that. We want to read information from the spreadsheet for that value. So I'm going to click on this drop-down button right here. And you can see that Test Complete is showing me all the fields that live inside my spreadsheet underneath this order data value. So I'm going to select product. And now we're going to read from the product column. And then we come here and I'm going to scroll down the up down drag. That didn't have anything that we needed to change. But this quantity value set, this is where we're changing the quantity of the product we want to work with. So we come here, click on that value, and we change that to quantity. Same thing here with the customer name. We're going to change that to the name column. We've got a street address. We'll change that. Got a city. Change that. Got a state. Zip code. And there we go. And then we're going to click finish. So it's really easy for you to just change the values from hard-coded values to the values from the spreadsheet using this wizard. So now we click finish. And you can see Test Complete has updated our test so that now we've got this new data driven loop action up here. And then here you can see which value, which columns from that spreadsheet we're going to be working with. So the product column, the quantity column, etc. Okay. And now what we can do is run this test simply by clicking on the Run Test button. And now Test Complete is going to kick off and it's going to run that test for each value in the spreadsheet. Okay, so I've fast forwarded a bit to the uh, test completion now. All the tests have been run. We've entered in all the values from our spreadsheet. And just by looking through the log here, you can see every action that was performed every time we entered in a new order. Okay, and that concludes our video on creating data-driven tests. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses you see on the screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with TestComplete.